bull markets usually don't die of old age. They're kind of like rock stars. They die of other things. And there's no reason to think that this bull market is ending now. We're seeing new highs, large cap, small cap, mid cap, transports, it doesn't matter. This is the absolute definition of a bull market. And unless we see money flows change or some significant policy error, you have to assume that the trend is your friend here. We expect that the tax reform is going to increase corporate earnings. And with that increase in corporate earnings, you could see the S&P go up to 3150 this year. We're growing nicely again here in the United States. We may have the best growth we've had in 11 years. But around the world, we're growing even faster. And it doesn't matter where you look in Asia, whether it's Malaysia or Singapore, all of these countries, Thailand, they're all moving right now. And just since January 1, you've had Brazil, Russia, India, Spain, Germany, all up over 4% on the year. And moving past the Asian markets and looking into the European markets, you're seeing a lot of growth there. The German ISM numbers, the European ISM numbers are both over 60 now. That's the strongest growth they've had in years. We think the European stocks are particularly cheap from a valuation standpoint. So not only do you get the growth globally, you've got better valuations. If you look at how these global markets have performed against the U.S. markets going back to 2000, you've got a lot of room to catch up here. So we think not, not only does the U.S. look pretty good, but globally the markets might look even better. The retail stocks have been doing pretty well lately. What I've been concerned about, Kelly, is consumer savings. So we've seen retail spending go up, but consumer savings down to the lowest level since 2007. So one wonders how long the retail rally could last, or is the retail rally telling us that wages are eventually going to go up and that wages are going to rise again? I'm a little concerned about the retail sector for that reason, but the bottom line is these stocks are moving just like everything else right now. So Kelly, if you look at the fertilizer yeah. stocks, uh, they're starting yeah, to move for the first time in years. We haven't seen them move in a long time. And the ISM report showed 13 out of 14 commodity prices higher with new orders the highest since 2003. So it's, it's not only a growth story, but it's a commodity growth story. Yeah, that's a great point.